Now let's explore the target boat that we are going to use in our internship. You can go to the ST website and look for this target boat, Nucleo F401RE. This is STM32 F401RE based Nucleo boat. It is of low cost and manufactured by ST. If we click on resources, we can find that ST maintains all the documentations required for this board to get started like schematic, flyers, brochure, manuals, presentation, design notes, technical notes and articles. Moreover, ST maintain a discussion forum that is this ST community. You can put your queries regarding boards or MCU. Another important thing that we need to look for is whether the target board has onboard debugger or not because it is very essential for any engineer to getting started in embedded if you look in the description it says it integrates the st link debugger and programmer the upper section of this target board is a in circuit debugger manufactured by st after selection of the board we need to check the mcu supports all the peripherals that we need or not so for that we can directly go to the MCU link but before that let me tell you that STM32 F4 and F7 family of controllers support almost all the peripheral required by the user. So if you search for this MCU you will go to this link and in this link you will find the key features related to MCU. The very first thing that we need to look for is SRAM and the flash memory that the MCU has. STM32 F401 RE has 512 kilobytes of flash memory and 96 kilobyte of SRAM. So it's enough for the beginner level. If you go down further you can see all the peripherals listed here like general purpose DMA, 16 stream DMA controllers, 11 timers, communication interfaces like I2C, USART, SPI, SDIO, USB, OTG and many more. Let's explore the target hardware board. This is Nucleo F401RE based on STM32 F401RE MCU having Cortex M4 core. The board contain ST-Link USB mini B connector for programming the board as well as for connecting the external power supply. Next is power LED for the indication of connected power supply. ST-Link or Nucleo selector. If these pins are enabled then the onboard MCU can be programmed using ST-Link debugger IC. SWD connector used to program other MCUs apart from the MCU placed on the board. Red green communication LED for the indication of communication status with PC. There are two buttons on the board. The black button is reset button that is used to reset the controller operation. Whereas blue button is the user button that can be configured as input and for external interrupt. Next is a green color user LED. There are two types of connector available on the board. One is Arduino connectors that is supported for UNO compatible shields and another one is ST Morpho connectors. These connectors are used to access the input output pins connected to MCU. Next is MCU STM32 F401RE. There is a 32 kHz crystal used for inbuilt RTC. That's all for the board introduction. Thank you.